All right. Well, now here we go with a little more Aristotle part two. So in the mini lecture above, just talked about um, virtues, qualities of character, personal qualities, things like generosity, temperance, courage. Uh, we'll keep talking about these different virtues, the language that Aristotle uses. But I ended that mini lecture by pointing to what are potentially three complicating things when it comes to thinking about character in this way. One is the challenge of this idea that it needs to be the right amount of something, that there's a search for a sweet spot, that it's not, a, it's not just a rule you follow. It's a way of being in the world, and that takes some, it's a little tricky to figure out how to, how to do it well. Uh, the second challenge was a challenge of context, that you, that this is, um, isn't happening in the abstract, that these values are acted out in the world with respect to other people and with respect to situations you're in. And so that's another complicating factor. It's fine to be courageous, but um, finding courage in the right, uh, in a particular situation uh, might be tricky to figure out. And then the third challenge is the challenge of balancing these virtues against each other, that you might not be able to maximize them all at the same time. They might come into conflict. So let me go through each of those uh, in just a little more detail. So first of all, the sweet spot problem. So this is what's known in Aristotle as the doctrine of the mean. So mean in the kind of mathematical sense of the, of the middle of the average, of the of the best uh, place to be given all the possible ways to be. It's kind of like the Goldilocks principle, uh, you know, in the, in the fairy tale, finding, um, uh, picking the porridge that's uh, that's not too hot, too cold, but it's just right, or or the bed, not the one that's too hard, the one that's too soft, but the one that's just right. Uh, when it comes to these virtues, something similar is going on. How much courage is the right amount of courage? How much generosity is the right amount of generosity? And so it is a it is a, a process of thinking about the middle ground, and so it helps to think in terms of the extremes on each side. And so the language in talking about Aristotle is you, you can think about the excess, and you can think about deficiency. So excess is having too much of something, and deficiency is having too little of something, not enough of something. So for courage uh, and generosity, it might look like this with respect to courage. If you're too courageous, it could, it could get you into trouble. There's such a thing as too much courage. A word we might use to describe that way of being in the world is, is being rash, rashness. Rashness as too much courage. The thought that nothing is too dangerous, that you run, it, you run to danger no matter, uh, uh, no matter the degree of it. That seems wrong. So that seems like an excess, excess of courage. The deficiency uh, we usually describe as cowardice, not having enough courage, running away from everything. Everything seems too dangerous. So trying to find uh, the middle spot on that, on that spectrum. When it comes to generosity, one, you can be overly generous. Um, the technical language often used uh, with respect to Aristotle is extravagance. That sounds a little to me like, um, I don't know, living it up or too much spending or something. But if you just think of being overly generous, of giving everything away, if somebody was constantly giving everything away that they had, you, you'd think that was being too generous. And then the defic deficiency, a word we often use, is stingy. Somebody who's stingy um, isn't generous enough or is... Um, not generous to a great degree. So thinking that you can't give anything of yours away to somebody else. So it's quick, a quick rush through um, the doctrine of the mean and uh, excess and deficiency as it relates to these virtues, these qualities of character. Um, but don't worry, we'll spend a little more time on it because we're going to use this Aristotelian virtue thinking uh, when we look at Spike Lee's movie, Do the Right Thing. So more about that to come. That's the sweet spot challenge of, of these virtues. The second of the three is the challenge of context, that all of these things are with respect to something else. So with courage, 
there's usually a situation going on and you have to evaluate the situation. And often, as you may already be thinking, it has a little bit to do with the person too. So if you think about, I don't know, my example is on the spectrum of being afraid of water um, and needing courage to build up courage to get in water, for example, a kid might have be really afraid of getting in a pool of even dipping their toe in the water, one end of the spectrum. And then over here, you have, you know, I don't know, somebody cliff cliff diving into the ocean, a um, lot of space in between, um, but also relative to the person, right? So like a kid, we understand that a kid might be afraid of a swimming pool. Um, and so all that uh, situational context is relevant to thinking about the expression of our um, character virtues. Um, so that's something we'll continue to talk about more. And then finally, the challenge of balancing the virtues with respect to each other. Now, I kind of trapped myself a little bit here because I have courage and generosity. So I was trying to think of an example, and I just used the example of water. So, um, But the idea is, could courage and generosity kind of come into conflict where you have to decide um, that one's going to kind of take a hit so that the other one uh, might benefit, that they don't always work together. So my example that I'm not sure totally works is that um, if you if you were going to, I don't know, if you're going to cliff dive into the ocean, so something rash, like don't do that, that sounds dumb unless you've uh, got a lot of practice and you've trained, but maybe there's some prize money and you're trying to help somebody out who desperately needs the money and it's really generosity that is driving you to be rash. It is occurring to me just now that uh, Antigone might, you might think of Antigone in this way, that she's out of generosity to her dead brother, something that she owes to him to be a generous sister, is leading her to be rash with respect to Creon, to her king, and the, the fact that she might die, right? So, so these, these, these virtues can come into conflict with each other, and that's part of the challenge of this way of thinking as well. And so uh, there's an overall challenge, if you don't have a sense of it yet, that this is just hard to do. It's, it's Flourishing is not, um, in Aristotle's view, he can help us see it clearly and give us a lot of language for thinking about it, but it doesn't make it easy. And life usually isn't making it easy. We have our own our own um, own challenges with these uh, exercising these virtues. We have the challenge of context. We have the challenge of balancing them with each other, and it all just involves a lot of judgment. It's not again. It's not rules to follow. It's a difficult life of making all these things balance out and see them clearly and do the right thing. It's hard. Uh, it's hard to do. So in other words, uh, from Aristotle's point of view, it's hard to flourish. It's hard to be that tomato plant that's uh, um, just doing great uh, in a human life. That's a difficult thing. Um, but because it's difficult, we should maybe try to get our uh, get a handle on it as best as best we can. So to put it in Aristotle's language, so that we know what to aim at. We know what it is, what it is we're trying to accomplish. And there is actually, so to end this little mini lecture, there is the virtue for Aristotle also of wisdom, the virtue of wisdom. And so one way of thinking about what wisdom is, it's precisely that ability to judge well all of those things, that the wise person knows how to balance things when they're in conflict with each other, knows how to develop one's own character, um, and knows how to, how to appreciate the context of something. Um, and so that becomes a virtue too. All right, that's our moron Aristotle from module seven.